and welcome to an updated bookshelf tour. I haven't done a bookshelf tour in three years now. Almost exactly, I think. Not really sure. Um, I will put the date on the screen, obviously, because I'm extra. But yeah, it's almost, or at least has been, almost maybe three years. So yeah, this has been long overdue. Um, so here it is again. Um, there are going to be a lot of books that were in the previous one. There will be a lot of new ones, some that have been unhauled. I think this is obvious. I also have books that aren't here because they're at my dad's house. I will try to take a picture from my dad's house. It's probably going to be a shit one, but yeah, they're like Red Queen, that series, the Selection series, all of the Cassandra Clare books except for the Infernal Devices, I think. The Inheritance Cycle books. Um, and I think some other ones, but yeah, here's the picture of my hideous little shelf. But yeah, that is all that I wanted to say before I started, so let's get into it. This angle is going to be absolutely hideous because my tripod only goes so far. <laughs> this is the top left shelf. I had to think about that for a second. This is basically adult fantasy. That's what I grouped together. It's all of my Brandon Sanderson books. Yes, I have not read a single one. Let's not judge me. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then I have some R.F. Quang books. I haven't read those either. I haven't read a single book from this shelf, so that's a beautiful time. The most recent edition is Babel, which is beautiful, but I feel like I need to read The Poppy War before I read Babel because I bought them first and I have like some sort of a thing with that. I don't know. And lastly, we have Robin Hobb. The next shelf over is all of my Samantha Shannon books. Um, I'm just gonna move the plant for a sec. I've only read one of these. <laughs> this is gonna be a shit show. And I just grouped them together because I really like the Roots of Chaos series being together. And I feel like they're so colorful compared to all of my other books, which you will see soon, hopefully, um, if I don't take too long. So I just grouped them together because they're the same author. And why not, honestly? The next shelf is more adult slash maybe new adult, I don't even know, fantasy. We have The Lord of the Rings, which I have not read. I have a lot of like first books in the series, which are these three books. Have not read any of them, but they're first books in the series of adult series. Um, and then I have Nevernight, which I have read, and it's like one of the five books on this shelf that I have read. Fun fact. <laughs> yeah, Nevernight I've read, and that's new adult, I think. I am not actually really sure. I think it's new adult, even though she's 17 in the first book. I consider it new adult. Um, and then we have the Ninth House series, which is new adult or adult. And yeah. So the only five books that I read are the first book in the Fortuna Sworn series, the three books in Nevernight, and Ninth House. The rest is all to be read. <laughs> I have a problem. So the next shelf I can finally get close to because my camera actually reaches. We have now gone to more young adult, even though some of these I don't actually know if they are young adult. Or like with this first series, the Kingdom of the Wicked series, I don't think that's young adult. More new adult, but according to Goodreads I think it's a young adult, but remains to be known honestly because I don't know so I just put the ones that I don't really know together which are these I haven't read a bunch of these like from here to Vespertine and also the Truth Witch series I have not read <laughs> um these covers though are my favorite possibly on my whole bookshelf love them they're beautiful I spent a whole like kidney on both of them <laughs> but I love them. Haven't read them, but I love them. Also, I have one of my favorite books ever on this shelf, which is another really pretty cover, which is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Still need to read the little sequel of it, but it's okay. <laughs> Moving on, we have, again, the little plant in the way. So this is Sarah J. Mass books. Ignore the little skull. It's just there. <laughs> I loved the Throne of Glass series, so I wanted it to stand out. 
Um, but I have not read the Akatar series yet, so it's just chilling there. <laughs> Next shelf is YA fantasy again, but colorful books. It's mostly Marissa Meyer books because all of these until like there are Marissa Meyer books. I have one more, but it's a romance book, so I didn't include it here. Um, but yeah, Marissa Meyer, for those who don't know, is one of my favorite authors, so I have a lot of books. <laughs> I still have not read Arch Enemies. I'm halfway through it. You can probably see my bookmark. It's a transparent one, but I'm like over halfway. But yeah, I have not read Arch Enemies yet, nor Supernova. I need to read Stars Above, which is a short story collection, and then I have the Gilded series that I haven't read, but the Lunar Chronicles is one of my favorite series ever since I was like 16 or 15 when I read it. And I just love these covers to death, so I just needed to show it in case somebody has not seen the like newer version of these books. They're beautiful. I love them. Other than that, I have some series that I have not read, like the Girls of Paper and Fire. I haven't read the Mara Dyer series. I have read The Hunger Games, obviously. Um, I kind of dislike The Spines just from like the rest of my books' vibes because most of my fantasy books are dark and then randomly you just have these like neon <laughs> colors. But I still love these minimal covers of this series, so I don't regret buying them. Although I would have maybe preferred the whole book being yellow instead of the front being blue and the rest yellow, but minute things. <laughs> and the last two books on my shelf, which are kind of in darkness because of the lighting in my room, which I cannot help with, are these two books, which I also have not read, but I have them. <laughs> so the next shelf here, we have more YA fantasy. <laughs> we have some of my favorite, like, old series like these that I mentioned previously. I love them. I read them eons ago. I kind of want to reread them soon. We have a lot of other series that I have not read. Um, I've obviously read the Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo, which is another favorite. I love it. Um, I read it a long time ago as well, and I kind of want to read it again as well. <laughs> And the only other two books that I've read from this shelf are the Morgan Matson books, but the rest I have not read yet, which is kind of concerning. The next shelf over is my manga collection that I have so far physically, obviously, because I read a lot online and stuff and on my phone. Um, but they are the three volumes that are actually nine volumes altogether of Full Metal Alchemist, which is really fun if you like action-y, sci-fi-y, cyborg-y, what other word can I say? <laughs> Manga. This is really fun. I'm trying to read and collect the whole series before I watch the show, but we'll see how that goes. Then I have the three volumes of Little Witch Academia, which is a show that I really loved, so I bought the manga collection. Uh, same thing with Gangsta, which is this book. I have three volumes of it, but I haven't started reading it yet, but I really loved the show, so I wanted to read it. Same thing for Watakoi, which is my favorite romance anime to ever exist. I bought the whole thing for my birthday this year, and I'm so excited to read it. I think I might read it for, like, a readathon, so yeah. And the last two manga are this series, which is My Brother's Husband by Gengoro Tagami. Um, which is another favorite book ever. It's really cute. I highly recommend it. Even if you don't like manga, it is so cute. I cried. I love it. Next over, we have more YA fantasy. Again, a lot that I have not read either. The only ones that I have read are from the... Oh, this is wrong. Anyways, we're gonna ignore that happened. But what I've read is from Strange the Dreamer to the right. So all of those books I have read, thank God it's half of the books on this shelf and not like three. <laughs> I have not read a single V.E. Schwab book of these ones. I have read her middle grade. Um, so I really have to get to these, but 
we're here. And the organization of this has no rhyme or reason. It's just kind of by color, I guess. Next, we have more YA, because why wouldn't it be more YA? Um, I have a bunch of standalones, I have a bunch of series, um, I have all of my Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff books, um, which I haven't read the Aurora Rising series, but Illumine, the Illumine Files are one of my favorite books series ever. I have read possibly half. Um, also, another favorite is Scythe, but only the first one because the last one was really disappointing. <laughs> And also, Warcross is another old favorite. So I have a bunch of favorites on this one. Another favorite is Ready Player One. I bought this edition because I didn't actually read this one originally. I read a mass market paperback. And then this one came out with the sprayed edges. And it is beautiful. It has this, like, I think these are end papers. It's not very special on the outside. But the end papers are so cool and I love the cover so I bought it for another kidney so yeah I think that's all of the things that I want to mention on this shelf <laughs> the next shelf is all of my graphic novels I just put the like box set box of the Watakoi series that I got them in because I love them so much and this just looks cute <laughs> But I have Nimona, which recently came out as a movie, I think, on Netflix, so I need to watch that. I have this tiny, cute little graphic novel about princesses saving each other instead of waiting for a prince. I obviously have the Heartstopper series, which is one of my favorites. I also have Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Aaron Hicks, which isn't stable enough to stand on itself, but it's a really cute romance. And another favorite is this one, which is about a prince that likes to dress up like a woman. I kind of feel like I need more graphic novels just looking at this because I feel like it's empty. Next, we're finally moving on to romance books. This is my adult romance books. My favorites are most of these actually. These two are TikTok books, but they're amazing. So highly recommend. I need to get to the third one. I have all of my Christina Lauren books, which is also another favorite author. Also, Emily Henry books, although I've been disappointed re recently, so I don't know about that. Um, also, Ali Hazelwood. My collection is slowly gonna grow <laughs> because I'm really excited for her newer books that are coming out or have come out. These two are more of a, like, I don't know exactly so i just left them by the end together because i don't know if they are my thing <laughs> my friends have told me that it's very likely i will not like them so they're just chilling at the end of the bookshelf in the darkness so yeah that's this shelf let's move on the next shelf is ya romance um and it will continue on until the next two so i have a bunch of favorites on this as well i have the once Upon a Con series, which is Geekerella. This book is one of my guilty pleasures. I love it. Also, the book that is being showcased is by a new favorite author. I really enjoy her books, so I'm slowly getting into more of her. I obviously have some books that are kind of out of place, like this book by this author that I always mispronounce, so I'm avoiding saying her name is actually adult but it is in this section because I wanted to keep it together with the rest of her books so it doesn't really make sense but <laughs> I have a bunch of LGBTQ books also on this shelf um, and A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue which is the last book is kind of historical fiction but I'm gonna consider it a romance so it's in this section in the center shelf I have this little stack they're mostly Morgan Matson books, but I have one Marissa Meyer book, which I mentioned when we were talking about her before. This is the other book I have by her, so this little stack is basically favorite authors, even though I didn't like Instant Karma that much. I still have it here. Um, and also Eliza and Her Monsters is another favorite book, so I just put them all together. Um, I kind of want to buy the hardcover edition of this book because it's kind of ruining the vibe um but i'll have to think about that a little bit more it is mostly morgan matson and my favorite ones are 
Second Chance Summer and Since You've Been Gone. Since You've Been Gone has more memories associated with for me because I bought it in New York and I loved it when I was like 13, so <laughs> I still love it. The next shelf is the last little section of YA romance. I have all the Alice Oseman books that I actually liked and want to keep. I unhauled Solitaire and I was born for this because I didn't really like them. So I don't like to keep books that I don't like, um, even though they were part of a beautiful series. I have some more LGBT or gay books. I have I Wish You All the Best, which is about a non-binary character. Red, White, and Royal Blue, which is a gay romance. I have some other older favorites like Fangirl, which I loved when I was a, like preteen. And then the last little stack are unintentionally all about black characters, but I mostly stack them together because they aren't romance heavy, at least that I know of. I'm not really sure about Let Me Hear a Rhyme, but the rest aren't romance heavy. They're more contemporary in my opinion. So that's why they're in their own little section because they're more contemporary than romance, but I keep them in my romance section. You Have a Match could also be in there. It was before I rearranged them like close to there, but I just wanted to keep it next to Tweet Cute. <laughs> But I don't have a lot of books that aren't romance heavy, so... We are now down to the last three shelves. This is going to be another really weird angle, but it is what it is. <laughs> this is my middle grade shelf. I have a lot of books that I have not read, like the whole Keepers of the Lost Cities. Actually, Keeper of the Lost Cities. have not read it yet, and I'm scared. I have my Neil Gaiman books, I have the middle grade books by V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab in this case. Um, I have not read the Peter and the Starcatchers and the Nevermore series, which I really want to. I also have the three books that are on top because I don't have enough space, which are the two books in the Furthermore series, which is really cool. And The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. This was... From what I remember, it was really good, but I listened to it on audiobooks, so technically I have never read that book, but I have read the book, if that makes sense. The next little shelf is all of the classics books I have, slash memoir, slash historical fiction. <laughs> Becoming is the only, like, non-fiction that I have, so I just kept it here. And The Book Thief, to me, is historical fiction, and that the only other one I have is A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, but I think that's more romance, and The Book Thief is not, so that's why I keep it in this mumbo-jumbo section. Then I have my little collection that is very, very, very slowly growing because I do not like classics, <laughs> but they're pretty, so I buy them. Um, I still really, really want to read The Color Purple. It is there. I'm gonna read it. Hopefully soon, I don't know, but the ones that are the Penguin classics, those are more difficult for me to read, I think, because they are so boring. <laughs> I have an issue reading classics, I don't know what it is, but I DNF'd Little Women, I did not like this, but I'm keeping it because it's part of a collection. I read A Christmas Carol eons ago, and I did like it, so I bought it. I actually got it from a friend, but I wanted to have it because I re read it in school. I have read Alice's Adventure in Wonderland, but it sucked. <laughs> and those are the only ones that I have actually read from this section. I also have Jane Eyre, um, Withering Heights, and Peter Pan, and obviously the last book. This is the most beautiful edition ever that my friend also gave to me. Um, am I super interested in reading this? Not necessarily. But I will, maybe one day. And the last shelf of my bookshelves is thriller, mystery, horror books. I don't actually know if things are horror or not. Um, but I think Battle Royale is a horror book. But I'm still going to consider it all just thriller or mystery books. Um, I have the Mindfuck series, which you could technically consider it being like dark romance, but... I'm putting it in thrillers. <laughs> a lot of the ways that I 
categorize books makes no sense and that's okay I keep fiddling with it so in a month this is going to be differently organized probably so I have the good girl's guide to murder which I'm really excited to read I'm keeping it for October saving it I mean I have a bunch of standalones like Little Fires Everywhere, which I really loved by Celeste Ng. Um, I have a bunch that I haven't read either. I still need to read the Truly Devious series, and there's apparently a fifth book. And then I have on top two more that don't really fit into my bookshelf because nothing ever fits properly like I want it to, um, which is Nine Perfect Strangers, which I'm not really interested in reading. My grandma gave it to me when she came back from holidays. She read that. And also, The Inheritance Games was another gift from somebody else. My friend did not like it, so he gave it to me. So we'll see if I like it. So those are my bookshelves, kind of. I have a bunch of books, as I said, on my dad's. I also usually have a bunch of books on my book cart, which is currently empty, mostly because I just reorganized and I wanted to film this video. Um, but I usually have like my TBR on it and books I want to read soon on it as well. And I also always have on my nightstand, which is actually my windowsill, the currently reading books, which would be Arch Enemies, which is what I've been reading for two months now. Send help. Um, but this is what they look like for now. I like them. I don't love them. I don't think I've ever loved the way my bookshelves look. Um, I really enjoy having the middle bookshelf that I recently got, so that's a plus. Um, my bookshelves are always, always changing. I still need to get the carpenter to fasten them. He came the other day to like, see what he had to do. He's like a handyman, not a carpenter. He came here to see what we needed to fix in the house, and he said this was very dangerous, which... My middle name is Danger. I have lived so far fine with him, so I can wait. I'm not gonna... Nothing's... Knock on wood. I'm fine. I hope one day that I can have like a really big room with just bookshelves, but currently that is impossible um, because this is the only space that I have for books forever unless I put it on my windowsill, but I don't want my books to like decease from sunburn. I don't know what you call it, but you know when like books get sun bleached, I don't want that to happen to my books. So. This is what remains. Maybe one day I can buy the extender shelves of Billy Bookshelves, if you know what I'm talking about. They have extender things. Maybe I'll buy that one day, but for now this is what it is. These are my bookshelves. But that is everything for today and I'll see you in my next word video. Bye!